Hello! Welcome back to my Hero Wars Let's Play. So we got 17 minutes to my arena time. Legacy of the Grey Ones. Daily bonus. Still need about 3k experience. We probably, we might not get it. We might. I don't know. We'll see what it looks like. Need two levels here. Armor Glyph, EXP Potions. Battle. Oh, didn't claim all my things for the turn of elements. Alright. See, we want to open these. Yeah, be careful not to accidentally buy 15. We do not have a lot of emeralds. Because I've made that mistake a couple of times. Because I get talking and don't pay attention to what I'm doing. Let's see. No, that's like all my coins, but I guess we'll take one of these. I need those too. Take those. All right. Guess we want to open those. Nice. And of course, we'll open these are string skin stones. Level up Aurora skin. We pretty much maxed out all of our skins except our armor almost. So, and we might just skip that armor skin. Armor skin doesn't add a whole lot of value for Aurora at the high levels. Like, it's, it's good, like, if you can get it on the low levels, but that costs a lot of extra. So, it might just be better to skip it overall. Because even with that skin, she really doesn't have enough uh, armor to survive the armor penetration of any hero that actually has armor penetration. But mostly she just relies on dodge to survive, which usually is better anyway, because penetration cannot improve their damage versus dodge. I mean, we might eventually do that skin, but it's not a priority right now. Uh oh, we just lost you. Should be fine though. There you go. Nice. Now we drop down to 128 this time. Don't get near as many defensive wins in Arena because, well, her Grand Arena, because we don't have good Grand Arena teams. But look at this, we're staying in the top 50 now. We are not dropping below, so that's really good.
Lars. All right, let's see. Da, 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 da. All right, so let's see what else we got to do today. Artifacts. Artifacts. All right, I think that's where we'll stop on that one. Um, okay, let's do our arena fights now. We'll see. He did beat me on the my defense, but if we can win on offense. Last. Shoot. The level difference. Oh, Disrendi is not protecting us at level difference. Usually it does. Like when one below, you can mize, but like that's so why 130 matters so much. But I think we got the win, so. Ode was protecting us enough to get the win, it looks like. Unless we pass freaking all of our patron, we might lose to all of our. Shoot, we might lose to all of our patron. Nope, I think we're gonna lose here. Well, oh, that sucks. I thought we had it, but nope, we're gonna lose to all of our patron. No Celeste. Sucks. Close. Try again. Nope, it was Lost Celeste again. Sad. My Spashion just ain't strong enough to get through that silence here. Yeah, no, it's gonna be the same result. Need Celeste to survive. Actually, might just die. Yeah, no, our Sebastian just ain't strong enough, plus the level difference killing us here. Once you get to level 130, though, all bets are off. We'll be winning a lot more on 130. We just have to keep working on Sebastian. Lost Celeste. Ooh, don't like losing Celeste, but we do have Arachne. No, we don't now. I think we just lost. We lost without Celeste here. Yep. Let's see. Actually, we can put a scene on him. It's not a huge difference. It's only 108 physical attack. Not really going to be a game changer for him.
try this one. We can beat her most of the time. Let's try it. Okay, good. Celeste survived. Celeste... Getting those dodge rolls matter a lot. Bye-bye! Let's try this one. I think we can probably get this one. Use Sebastian. Use Sebastian. Hopefully, Sebastian will be able to protect us. There we go. Oh, the Serenity is up. Dad, we're still level below, but I think it, it will help enough. Like I said, if nothing else, Ode to Serenity dispelled the stuns on the front line there from Arachne, so I think we got it. That Ode to Serenity is the most powerful ability in the game. Once we get to 130, we'll put Sebastian in my team proper. Like, we'll put him on defense and stuff, but until then, though, let's get some energy. Um, guess we want to do that one since we're going to need those mace fragments too in a minute. I'll need another one of those. Booyah, booyah. We can do tower and stuff. All right. Mm. Oh, this one definitely. Get a hard fragment. There we go. Alright, I guess we'll do that. So it's a 38.95% or... 38.75%, sorry. Once you get to 40%, it gets a bit more consistent. Like, every 10%, you get more consistent. So you gen generally want to try to get them to 70% plus, like, ideally. Like, said, because uh, max out, I think, fully max, you can get to, like, 79%. You can't quite get to 80 but you can get to 79 which is a pretty big deal. But, like, 40% is going to be a big boost, like, in his, like, overall effectiveness. We're going to try it this way. Let's hope for a good one on the bottom. So I didn't put the Maya team there because I'm pretty sure uh, Yasmo would have just shredded them. Okay, we might have chose right. It looks like Phobos here is pretty weak. 
He's taking damage like a chomp. Died really quickly. Well, he's not dead yet, but he's taking. Like I said, he's gonna die really quickly here, probably. The question is, is how strong the rest of that team is. Okay, I think we can win. Just really need to have some stuff go our way here. Yep, got it. Nice. Yay! I love it when wins come together. Okay, so the number nine's done, so we can get our three scenes. We'll probably want to wait till later to raid. Rufus. Oh no, so close. Damn it. Okay, good. Got it. Level 69, really, guys? Like I said, the tower really doesn't scale like it's supposed to. More Rufus. There we go. Couple more. Like I said, we are not going to be able to do these fights here in a day or two. Probably, probably tomorrow, Bob, will be the last time. 
be sad. All right, last fight. Did really good on items today. Very good. Okay. Still need over a thousand experience, so probably tomorrow, max level. The big one through yo. Dungeon. Get that stuff. I guess I'll take that one. Cool. I like that. Once we get to 500 crystals again, like so, we're just gonna keep focused on the tank. Oh man, so I want to show you my guild war fights. Since uh, I did get a couple wins here, I cleared the foundry and the barracks here. <laughs> Booyah! Aurora doing a bunch of damage. This one here. Brought in Sebastian here. They are a level above me, but we want to protect against those Karkstons as much as we can. Like I said, once you get to level 130, Sebastian will be pretty much in my team almost always. Yeah, no, we get a win here. Came out pretty easily. Booyah! Let's see and see if we got anything on defense here. Find my name. Ooh, look at this. <laughs> they tried to attack me with a without a tank. How cute!
Lucas is so bad versus Kane. Well, Lucas is bad in general, but especially versus Kane, because he has, he gives, does not benefit armor whatsoever. He just takes 7% of his life on every hit, no matter how much damage, so. Boom. Tried it again? Really? You didn't learn from the first time? It's the same line, isn't it? Like, what? Just because Thea's dead, you think it's going to be easy now? Got Arachne, but Aurora still lives, so... So they got my Titans, which not too surprising since my Titans are kind of weak and there you have a Grass Totem, so. So that's it on those. Um, but yeah, that was pretty good defensive wins. We won our war today, so that's always good. And we finished 19 in Arena. Alright. Guess we can claim that. Alright, um, thank you for watching. Uh, come join me for the next one. We'll see you again soon.